council president. Uh, we're supposed to have three sentences. Um, that's one sentence. The VNNC to officially elect, that makes that sentence longer. <laughs> <laughs> the VNNC to officially elect a council president. Uh, to serve a one year term as per our bylaws. The president will serve a one year term with an as option. Per our bylaws. Um, to commence immediately. Council president <laughs> will uh, take over. Uh, the presidency as of June, maybe okay. no, immediately. It went right after they get elected. Immediately. Okay. Um, I don't think it's going to work, but I'm happy with that. Yeah, I know. No, because then I'm going to sit down at the end uh, yeah. and have some chicken, <laughs> and then get up and walk around. Uh, okay, council <laughs> president will take over the presidency immediately um, after being elected. Um, eh, on May 11th. There all right, so that's some good language. We can plug in all the other ones. Um, I make a motion. We adopt this language. The VNNC to officially elect the council president. The council president will serve a one-year term as per our bylaws. Council president will take over the presidency immediately after being elected on May 11th. Seconded. And with that, I call for the vote. Um, yes. My vote, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Joseph, yes. did you have something yes. to say? Are you running for president? Then you can continue. You, you shouldn't throw your hat into the ring until next week. Yeah, then you can continue for the vice president. Yeah, no, that's why we were going to... We're, yes. we're just, we're just supplanting... The you, you're so smart. It's like you see what we're doing, <laughs> and you yeah. help. All right, uh, the next one, the VNNC to officially elect a council vice president. The council vice president will serve a one-year term as per our bylaws. The council vice president will take over the vice presidency immediately after being elected on May 11th. That is, I've never seen Howard smiles. Like, that's ear to ear. That's fantastic. Second. Okay, uh, do, we, do we have a, that's Second. the motion? Second. On the, okay, I vote yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, that's I don't know. I have, my, I have my doubts. I'm out of yes. Well, you can vote maybe. Next up, we have the... <clears throat> Secretary. So, the VNC to officially elect a council secretary. The council secretary will serve a one year term as per our bylaws. The council secretary will take over the secretariness immediately after being elected on May 11th. Secretarial duties. Secretarial <laughs> duties. Which we can go over next week. Or not. No, we'll go over now, that. Now, what? Sort it. If any, this is a suggestion that I don't expect anyone to run with because I don't even have the time. But if anyone had the time to maybe send an email about what those duties look like, so that before we come to the meeting, we know what we're running for and signing up for, you know. Well, Especially because I think there's a lot of. Then they're not going to. It's nice to have the abstract job. theories, Stacy. No, Stacy. No, if you I, give I them all like the information, that. they don't and want a job. Should and is are very far apart. <laughs> But we can do that. We can outline uh, the duties. Or at least I, bring it to the meeting. Because well, people disagree on what those duties are. We never disagree. I don't know what you're talking about. Never. But it's in uh, Robert's Rules of Order yeah. what the council secretary should be doing. From page 16 to 200. Now, there is, what is it? 716 pages. I'm only on page 424. I'm on the vote by mail stuff. So mm. as soon as I get through that. But yes, uh, I concur. We should let the people know what they should be doing. Um, do we have a second on the motion for secretary? Second. With that, I call for the vote. I vote yes. Yes. Lazarovitz. Yes. And Reigns. All right. Next up is treasurer. I think, Stacy, you're still eligible to serve as treasurer. She wants to you, serve. I think she enjoys it. Yeah. You should run for California state treasurer because <laughs> I think John Chung's running for governor and that spot's open. I need to talk to you. All right. So the VNNC to officially elect a treasurer. We the treasurer we, we will serve a one-year term as per our bylaws. The treasurer will take over the treasurerness <laughs> immediately after being elected on May 11th. Do we have a second on that motion? Second. I call for the vote. I vote yes. 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 All right. Yes. 
going down the list, do we have, I think the parliamentarian is a, an official uh, elected office, and then it also, you sit on this committee as the parliamentarian, do you not? Yes. All right, so. Yes. Wait, I thought you were Yes, I thought you were parliamentarian. Yes, the parliamentarian. He's the assistant parliamentarian? Mr. Chair, uh, parliamentarian is not in our bylaws. No, it's not. I thought it was like a, a standing rule that we just came up with. No. Well, where are the standing rules? I don't know. I've got it right in front of me. It's not a rules. Well, I mean, then that would be something for the new administration to sort out. But we still have to elect a parliamentarian and an assistant parliamentarian. And a sergeant of arms. And a sergeant at arms. And it's my understanding the parliamentarian has a seat on the executive committee, which is how it's always been. Yes. But... Uh, that's for that's for the next administration to sort out. So I'm happy to. Uh, you say that, George. No, you should see. I can't wait to pass the torch. It's a it's a nice torch, and whoever. Uh, that's it. So the BNNC to officially elect a parliamentarian. The parliamentarian will serve a one-year term. Uh, the parliamentarian will take over the parliamentarianness immediately after being elected on May 11th. Now, the new, it's up to the new president whether the parliamentarian will have a seat on this committee, right? Absolutely. So, that's the uh, no, motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. And I vote yes. 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 All right. So, electing an assistant parliamentarian. That also isn't in the bylaws, Jason, but we still have one. Which is one of those like things, or a, a, it could be it's like an oral rule, right? Yes. Or like it's one of those Illuminati things that nobody talks about, but it's just <laughs> part of it. Trilateral. Yeah, no, it's the secret society stuff, but we're we're letting it come out in the light. So, uh, the VNNC to officially elect an assistant parliamentarian. The we know the language. Uh, motion on the floor. Yes. Seconded. Seconded. Yes. Yes. All yes. Right. yes. Sergeant at arms. That's the person that is supposed to keep order. That's Howard. That's Howard. Yes, Howard uh, has two elected positions on the council, and now you'll have none. Uh, sergeant at arms. Uh, same language. The VNC to officially elect the sergeant at arms. Uh, Seconded. I vote yes. 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 All right. Um, any other yeah, elected but... positions for the executive committee? None. All right. Chairman, uh, vice chair, secretary, treasurer, parliamentarian. It's a committee of five, and we're vo those are the first five that we're voting on next week. Whoever gets elected president by uh, uh, default is the chairman of the executive committee. Next up, uh, we'll go through the committee chairs, uh, public safety committee. So we will be electing our committee chairs, same language. The VNNC to officially elect a chairman of the public safety committee. Um, you guys know the rest of the language. Do we have a motion? Sec second. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, Parks and Rec, same language. VNNC to officially elect the Parks and Rec chair. Uh, Second. Seconded by Benjamin. I vote yes. 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 All right. Budget and finance. Now, uh, Stacy, are you running for treasurer again or no? No. You've had enough? I mean. No. Unless nobody does it? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You I don't know? I don't, I don't even yeah. think I can say anything at this exact moment. Well, uh, yeah, you'd be election. Uh, all I know is I'm, I want to continue to be education chair. That's all I know. All right, well. That's all you know. We'll leave it at that. All right. So usually the, bud uh, the budget and finance uh, chair um, is the treasurer. So if we don't have any objection to that, we can keep that oral standing rule. And whoever gets elected treasurer becomes the budget and finance chair. We should leave that up to the new administration. We should. That should be a decision yeah. that's made by uh, the newly Very elected nice. officials. So then uh, we'll just, same language, VNNC to officially elect the budget and finance chair, uh, one-year term, take over on May 11th. That's the motion. Do I have a second? Second. All right. I vote yes. 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 Yeah. 
All right, planning and land use, same deal. Uh, the BNC to elect the planning and land use chair. Uh, do I have a second? Second. second. Oh. I vote yes. 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 Yeah. All right, government relations rules and bylaws. The BNC to elect a government's relations rules and bylaws chair. Same language. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Ooh. He jumped in on your second. I know, I know, something. but it's okay. Well, it be, I vote so, yes. 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 All right, outreach chair, same deal. The BNC to elect an outreach chair. Um, second. There it is, seconded. I vote yes. 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 All right, and then our other two committees are education and sustainability. Uh, the BNC to uh, elect an education chair. Second. With that, I call for the vote on education. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. The BNC to elect the sustainability chair. Uh, Second. Same languages. Okay. Uh, seconded by Benjamin. I vote yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, the Mr. Ackerman. Budget reps. You yeah. want to have that election next yeah, week too? You need to elect the point two budget reps. Yeah. All right, we can. Uh, we also hope it's other wonderful things like the new liaison, public works liaison, but we'll, we'll just focus on budget reps for now. Well, we could do that too. Uh, the VNC to elect two budget representatives. Uh, the budget reps to serve a one-year term and to take over immediately after being elected on the 11th. Do I have a second? Second. I vote yes. 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 All right. Um, for the Department of Water and Power liaison, um, the animal. That's appointed. Yeah. So let the president, the new president, just appoint them. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. So that gets through our election stuff. Uh, George. Yes. What about web administrator? Is that a yeah. position? Well, it was you, would that, would that be a paid Howard, and yeah. Richard was the committee. Mm -hmm. Do you still want to do any of that stuff? I mean, uh, I mean, I'd like to share it as far as you know. Is anyone uh, tech savvy enough to do the posts that you do? Um, well, we got a new member. Jeremy, oh, yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy. So, so is he? Is he good in that realm? Well, he He's an IT guy. He's earning his MBA. I'm pretty sure he can handle our website. We'll see, won't we, Stacy? Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Maybe just appointing that. Huh? Maybe just making that appointed. It is appointed. Yeah, so that can be part of whoever the president appoints. But yeah, that uh, we should keep our website uh, up to date okay. and going and everything. Um, do we have any other like floating positions that we should address? Candido. Uh, not a position, but just the fact that if you are a chairperson, that you take that responsibility, uh, responsibility serious, and that you hold your meetings. Uh, you know. I would like to see a meetings once a month by the committee chairs. Uh, yeah. uh, the, the council meetings would be uh, uh, decrease in hours if we put stuff through the uh, committees. Absolutely. Because all the work would be done in committee and then just recommended for council votes, as opposed to none of the council or none of the committees meeting minus. Carinos, and that's why we go till 1.30 in the morning. So uh, whoever takes over or whoever is the new chair of these committees, once a month is good, and uh, Carino can uh, train you on the I, Ralph M. Brown Act. I, I would suggest that whoever takes the position absolutely has to uh, adhere to a monthly schedule of posting agendizing and holding the meeting. Yeah. Well, if they're not going to do, do it, then it, there's absolutely no sense in them taking the position. What you guys, you guys could do is have a, a retreat where everybody gets trained again on all of that stuff um, and Probably have Don come in and we could all get donuts and <laughs> coffee. That'd be fun. We had a retreat, I, I think you were here, when Derek was president, we went to that new fire, fire station. station. Yeah. That was and then I think we had a retreat here. Uh, in Yeah, which wasn't yeah. much of a retreat. Yeah. No. no not really. We weren't retreating to right. anywhere. No. But and yeah, then we I were tried to have a retreat Amber at the Reagan retreat. Library, and they uh, shot America? that down. 
uh, yeah. because it wasn't in the city of Los Angeles. Yeah. I don't know. That's up to the new president, but uh, planning a retreat in the next few months would be uh, smart. Do you think we can get a president that gets a paid position? Because then more people. It's would impossible want to, be to be paid for but a, a are, volunteer job. There are a few people in the neighborhood council that get paid. Joe Banks Barad was one of them. Joe Banks Barad is a. She, I know what she is now. I'm talking about history. She's never been paid. She did. That's what I was told. You, you've been told incorrectly. It's a vol this is a volunteer position. You can't be paid for a volunteer position. Well, that's what I heard. I guess that's a conflict of interest in the and against the Brown Act. Looks like I'm You know, JFK was president for a dollar a year. I know. He didn't need the money. We do. What do you think he did with that dollar? Went right. crazy. Huh? <laughs> he went crazy with Marilyn. There it is, with the Marilyn Monroe <laughs> Post Office. All right, so um, moving on. That's all of our elected positions and all our chairmanships. Um, the budget advocate would be coming from the two budget reps whenever they're having that. Uh, Jason will keep us up to date on that. Um, 8B, I don't know how this got on there. Formal standing ovation and round of applause for <laughs> Vice President Howard Benjamin to thank him for his four years of service. Yay. Yay! Thank you. Now, do, do we want to have a uh, one for George? Too. Have that uh, one for George next yeah, yeah, yeah. next week as well. Yeah. I think all the outgoing officers should be praised for the job that they've done. All right. So it doesn't have to be a standing ovation. Or just outgoing should, officers just be recognized. It came from the heart. So then we can change that to outgoing officers. Remember, I have your thing from the lieutenant governor. Thank uh, you. Remind me to bring that. Uh, formal standing ovation, and round of applause for all outgoing officers of the VNNC, uh, and for thanking them for their years of service. All right, do I have a second on that? Second. And I vote yes. 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 All right. Um, and then the last thing I had was uh, the VNNC to schedule ethics and funding training for current and newly elected council members as required by the Fair Political Practices Commission. Um, some of them were already doing it online. Correct. I think almost everybody who uh, came, came and did it, I think, has already done it, actually. Well, no. Yeah, but there's some, some members who have to renew This the... This is a fun one because, sure. like, downtown uh, has a different list than we do, and then there's somebody... Uh, else it has a different list, and then I think CD6 has another list, and then uh, Jeffrey Brill has another list. Howard, it's been fun sorting this out, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. So I would I'd, say we leave that on the agenda. We can leave it on the agenda. Uh, not, to the best of my knowledge, and uh, according to Dunn, to Kathleen Quinn, uh, the only person that's still outstanding is the newly erect, uh, elected uh, 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 councilwoman. All right, let me check and everybody see what Which I believe is you. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. So everybody else. Have you can... taken the funding training and the ethics training online? Uh, I'm in the middle. Okay. All right. All right. Try and get it done. Before next Wednesday. Try and get it done before next Wednesday because you can't vote unless okay. unless you uh, yeah, have everybody. funding certificate and uh, ethics and mm -hmm. civility. She has to be sworn in. Okay. Well, yes, she has to be sworn in first. Yeah. Uh, so that we should agendize uh, swearing so her just, in. Okay. What's her name? Maureen? Mr. Can we agendize five minutes for Mr. Benjamin to drop a verse? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Only two hours. Poetry? Yeah. And rapping? Are you going to sing for us? No. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a good poem you missed this week. Uh, <laughs> all right, so it looks like Ackerman, they don't have you as being trained here, big guy. Oh. On Empower LA, you, you're blank oh. for ethics, don't funding, come to the next meeting. and code of conduct. That's not true. Oh, well, I, I expect more out of you, Jason. I treasure training like a year and a half ago. Look, well, uh, tell it to City Hall. Yes. But you're, you spell uh, your name you, J A S O N. Yes. Yeah, A C K E R M A N. Uh, I think the problem is, is that you are. On for Encino and not on for Van Nuys. Yeah, maybe and, sort that and, out. And you have to sort that out. 
Are, are you are you reelected to to Encino? No, I did not run, and I was not reelected to Encino. Okay. I mean, technically, you, it's the same training, so you yeah. should be fine. But uh, in the interests of uh, yeah. the red tape bureaucracy I'll that we go, live in, go talk to this Steve Friedman there. also is not in as having any of it done, and Austin Knoll is not in as having ethics done. So we proved we proved to them that he, that. Uh, uh, Austin had his ethics training. In fact, I presented them. I presented them with the certificate. You could present it to them on a silver platter, and it still wouldn't go through. I'm just telling you what they have on the website: it is no Austin Knoll for ethics. Steve Freeman, none of the three, and Ackerman, none of the three, and the rest of us are good. So. Okay. Um, or oh, uh, we should probably do. We should probably update the code of conduct before we uh, pass the torch because some of these are old like 14 2014 you only have to do it once there's no expir yeah there's no expiration on, then you on have, code of conduct then you have a code of conduct done john camara you don't have your code of conduct then buddy really I, yeah it should be there all right so something to address for the new administration mm -hmm. All right, um, so do we want to just leave that on the agenda, the BNNC to schedule? I mean, it's not even saying we'll do it at the meeting. It says just to schedule ethics and funding training, or do we just harass those four people? That's probably, you, you can't schedule it because they have to take it on their own time. I mean, you know, we, tr we tried doing that Twice. with, with uh, the guy from Boston came yeah. and trained us, Yeah. and then you did a training also. Yeah which none of them were received. Correct. For some reason. Well, that just about does it for me, guys. I think we got one more thing, Mr. Perry. I'm going to see her. She's taking the wrong room, unfortunately. I thought we were going to be in the Friday Center. So. so should we sit tight on that? Does anybody else have anything for the agenda? Right on time. Hi. <laughs> yeah, just say, uh, come dive in. Anywhere. Okay. Hi. Um, my name is Adele. I'm a resident of Van Nuys, and I'm working with uh, Adrian Nazarian's office to put on an animation walk June 4th, uh, Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Just inviting the local community and the local schools to come see some animation. We're having uh, lots of Students from CalArts bring their films and come talk about their work. And also, possibly UCLA, we're talking to them. Alacna is coming to do activities with the kids. And yeah, it's going to be lots of fun. Great for the community to show them like different ways uh, art can affect the world and entertain people. That's this Saturday? It's June 4th. Oh, June 4th. We have time. So are you requesting funding? Do you want us to just to support it and say we love it on letterhead? What do you want us to do? Um, we, right now, we're looking for maybe some funding for providing food for the Give event. Give a number. Um, $10,000. The more the merrier. 500 What's our, our budget? 500? What, 4500 45000 a year? 500 is fine. 500? 500. We're okay with that number? Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll so. need paperwork. Yeah. And we'll need paperwork immediately. Okay. Come. All right. See her. Yeah. Sure.